We're John and Leslie no. Berry and we're at the Chimley Arms Burton Coggles which is south of Grantham and it's a, a very rural um, location set in a tiny village and the nearest big town is nine miles away. It's been a, a pub for many many years and it's, it's changed shape frequently. Um, it started off as just a tiny little old-fashioned pub where you had to access the bar through a, a hole in the wall. Um, previous tenants have added bits on. Since we've been here we just decorated throughout and changed the decor um, and just really took it back to, to scratch, went down to the, the old tiled floor. Um, we opened in March 2009 um, and really it's just gone from strength to strength. John's a chef and he has a, a good name for food around this area. So what we tried to do was use local produce and just proper, good, old-fashioned um, country fare, cooked well, good portions. Um, yes, we use local ales, so we do get a little bit of a drinking trade, but I would say our mainstay is food. Um, after we'd been here about six months, John's also a butcher, and he really wanted to have a farm shop, as he'd worked in a farm shop previously. So I contacted Pub is the Hub, and a very nice gentleman called Hugh Wilson came out. Um, we just hit it off straight away and he just helped me with all the red tape, all the forms I had to fill in. Um, we got a, a small grant through Lincolnshire County Council and Hugh helped me fill those forms in because it was just a total nightmare. But he did all that for me and he gave us the confidence to go for it. Um, you know, he really believed in what we were doing. So we... Um, went on, we got planning permission. Our landlord, Sir Fred Chumley, we work really closely with, he's such a nice man. And everything we've wanted to do, he's backed us, um, and any way he can help, he has done. Um, so we opened the shop in September 2010, um, and we sell a lot of local produce, a lot of the farms from around here, we get beasts from, sheep from, pigs from, we've even had our own pigs so that we, you know, we've got traceability on most of our meat. Um, the veg we go to Spalding and we get some from Eastern Wall Gardens and we just try and sell as much local produce as we possibly can. All our trade is word of mouth. Yeah. We've, we've, it's, we it's, don't advertise. We've never, we never advertised that. once. Yeah. It's all word of mouth um, from people who's come in the pub and passed it on and, uh, and shoot parties, you know, and it's just no, it's just, it's just great how it's worked. Very few people come from afar for a drink. They, they come to eat. I mean, they come from a, a 30 mile radius to eat. Um, but the villagers, if they do go out to eat, they do come here, which is lovely. You know, it's not as if, um, oh, but well, they go somewhere else. They just, you probably don't go out to eat, you know, every week. But when they do, I mean, at Christmas, they always, the villagers <coughs> always get together and, and book a room and have a big, big village party in there. And anything that goes on in the village we're involved with. I think <coughs> you've got to be village people to run a yeah. village pub. Um, you get a lot of people who come from towns and try and run a village pub like a town pub. And it's not, it is completely different. You can't run them the same. The future for us, our next plans, we've got some more sheds that need to be revamped. We need to do something with them. So again, I rang you. So Hugh, <laughs> out he came. Yes, yes, good idea. Yeah, just really to run it past somebody else with more experience. So yes, we've had the plans drawn up now. They're going through to planning to have four um, ensuite bedrooms so that we can do bed and breakfast. Again, for the shoots in the winter and for tourism in the summer. And there's not really anywhere around here apart from a travel lodge or... It's not really the same thing. Even if you think you're doing everything right, if you just have a little inkling, just contact them because somebody like you, whoever, whichever area you're in, will come out, will give you advice. It doesn't cost you anything and two heads are much better than one. We employ 17 staff in a small place, yeah. So it's some quite... Some only do one shift. Yeah, so it's quite a lot of staff, you know, part-time, some for full time um, I employ some people in the shop now, you know, after two years. So. It's like watching yeah. the youngsters though, isn't it? From yeah. when we started, you know, there were 14, 15 washing up and now they're waitering and on the bar and they've yeah. just progressed and then they've moved off to uni and there's some new youngsters coming in. So it's, it's like keeping the teenagers of the village occupied. <laughs> <laughs> Through Pub is the Hub, we had the Royal Visit last year. We had Prince Charles and the Duchess of Cornwall in November, which was a really exciting day. Very, very nice, but that was really good for the whole community. 
you know, the village came out, um, good for the estate, and gave us even more publicity. It's a seven day a week job. We take Sunday nights off and then that's about it.